Hi, this could be a productivity hack if you are using Microsoft's OneNote. I had a few paragraphs of text which I wanted to separate in OneNote, notes which I have taken. I wanted to separate as in I wanted to draw a line on them. But in Word, there was a simple method to do this, which OneNote is missing. Uh, this is in Word and uh, imagine we have a bunch of text. So I'll just generate a sort of random text. So this is, you can use this command in Word to generate random text. Just type equal to brand and then two brackets and then press enter. That gives you five paragraphs, that's by default. Now you can edit this command as well, but that would be a video for another time. But uh, coming to our question, so I wanted to draw a line after these two things. Imagine there are two different sections in my um, notes. So if I wanted to make a line here to make a differentiation between these two. Okay, to do that, just press dash three times and then press enter. That gives you a line. Word has similar functionalities for other keys as well. For example, if I press underscore three times and then enter, it gives you that dotted line, that thick line. Anyway, this was an interesting thing to do in Word, which was very handy. So I am trying to show you a workaround to this. This is not exactly a solution from the options in OneNote. OneNote doesn't have an option to do that. So let's see how the workaround happens. Now, let me switch over to OneNote. There's a bunch of text. This is also, I have, uh, when OneNote doesn't have a way of generating this kind of random text. So I have generated this in uh, Word and then copied here. So say after the two paragraphs, I need a line here. So if I press three dashes and then enter, nothing happens. Similarly equals enter, nothing happens. This functionality is missing in OneNote. So what we can do to override this is, this is not a straightforward way. So instead, now we can try a way to using autocorrect. So go to files and then options and then proofing and go to autocorrect options. So in autocorrect options, I'm going to set up three dash and then replace that with like a lot of dashes. So which would give you something similar to a line. I think that's enough. Now click on add and press OK. Now again OK and then let's try that. See, as soon as I pressed three, okay, don't press enter because that will create another auto at the end of it. I'll show you once again. Yeah, that should work for now. And then just press down. If you press enter, it should create another line. Now the one thing to note is that this will work across Office applications. So this should come in Word as well. I created a new text document to check this out with. So let's get some random text. And after two paragraphs, we are trying to. So I am trying the dashes again here, two, three, four, and we got the line. <clears throat> Comes a bit longer in one note, but ah, we got the earlier line as well. So that's fine. You get the dashes. And then click enter. So word works as intended. And one not work with our hack. So that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope this has been useful. And uh, thank you for watching and see you in another one. Bye bye.